Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to fix FPS drops and boost FPS in the new Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. So with the drop of new Season 5 in Fortnite, a ton of people are having FPS drops. So inside of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix FPS drops, fix stutters and boost FPS in Fortnite so that you can enjoy a smooth Fortnite experience. Just keep in mind that these optimizations do depend on your PC specs as well and a person using Intel HD integrated graphics should not expect crazy like 200 FPS or something after applying this guide because that's just simply not possible. But in this guide, I will be showing you guys how to optimize your PC in order to get the maximum performance out of it. A quick disclaimer that all of the tweaks shown inside of my videos are 100% safe and will optimize your PC to run Fortnite at the highest FPS possible for your hardware. Also if you guys want the best possible results out of this guide, then make sure to follow each and every step inside of this video carefully so you don't miss out on anything important. Making these videos really takes a lot of time and effort and it will only take you guys 2 seconds to like the video. It will really mean a lot to me and make my day and if you guys end up enjoying this guide and it helps you guys, then make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of the brand new optimization guides whenever I upload them. Make sure that you guys use code Reknatic in the Fortnite item shop before buying the battle pass if you guys wanna support me. And with that said, let's get this video started. So starting off with the optimizations, you guys will need to go down into the description of this video and download the Fortnite optimization pack. You guys will then need 7-zip or WinRAR to extract the pack. So just go ahead and use either one of those to extract the pack. Once the pack is extracted, go ahead and open it up. And this pack was made by Freedy, all of the credits goes to him. I just made a couple of changes in it and I will leave the link to his channel down below in the description. So make sure that you guys go ahead and check out his channel. So go ahead and open it up and the first folder that is the PC maintenance go inside of that one. And we are going to be starting off by creating a restore point. So just go ahead and open it up. Then select the drive where you guys have installed your windows. Hit configure, make sure that turn on system protection is checked and set the max usage to around 5%. Then hit apply, hit ok and then click on create. You can go ahead and name it anything, I'm just going to name it 2020 and then click on create. And that's all it takes to create a restore point. It's really easy, simple and it will help you guys a lot in case that these tweaks don't work out for some of you guys. So once the restore point is created, hit close, hit ok and then open up the delete temp files folder. Inside of here, everything that you see in it are all the temporary files that Windows no longer uses. So just go ahead and select all of them and delete all of them. Hit continue if it, if it asks. Then go back, go into the delete temp percent files and select everything inside of here as well. And then go ahead and delete them. If it requires you guys to skip anything, then go ahead and skip. Otherwise, click on continue. Then go back into the pack one more time and this time double click on the free up space C drive. Now this step actually has nothing to do but it just warns you that you should always have at least 15% of space free in your C drive or the drive where you guys have installed your windows. So it should never turn to red like this one but it should always be blue like this one. So just go ahead and make sure that it's blue and then you can go back into the pack and go into the remove background apps. Open it up. And make sure that everything inside of here is turned off except for one thing that could be that would be your graphics card control panel. For me, I'm using an NVIDIA control panel so for me, I have turned that one on. If you guys are using AMD, then make sure that that one is turned on and everything else is turned off. After that, close out of this and go into the remove startup apps. Open it up and then make sure that those programs that you don't want to start up every time Windows boots up are disabled. For me, I don't want Adobe Creative Cloud to boot up every time with Windows so I'm going to be turning that off, turning this off as well and CCX process as well. So just go ahead and make sure that everything inside of here is turned off except for the things that you do want to start up with Windows and then close out of this. Then go into the remove unwanted auto runs and right click on it, run it as admin, hit yes. And inside of here, I do not recommend changing anything except for going into the logon. And these are basically just like the startup processes but a more advanced version. So only uncheck those things that you don't want to start up every time the windows boots up. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and disable these Adobe services because I don't want them to start up. And once you guys have done that, you guys want to go into the schedule tasks. Do not mess with anything else. Just go into the schedule task and once again, make sure that you only uncheck those things that you don't want to start up with your windows. And always, always make sure that you do not disable any of the tasks related to your graphics card. 
So do not disable any NVIDIA or AMD and even Microsoft services. So I'm just going to disable once again all of the Adobe services, see cleaner and that's it. After you guys have done that, you can close out of this and then go into the 8th file that is the 100% scaling. Now for some reason, Windows causes acceleration if you guys don't have the scale and layout on 100%. So it's highly recommended that you guys always go ahead and use the 100% recommended scale and layout setting. Once that is done, close out of this and go into the mouse EPP of 6 to 11. Open it up and what you guys need to do here is make sure that this slider is on the 6th dot right here. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. By default it should be on the 6th one but just make sure that it's on the 6th one. And also uncheck enhance pointer precision. Then hit apply. Then hit ok. And once that is done go back into the pack and go into the second folder that is the graphics drivers. Go ahead and open up the first link that is the display driver uninstaller. And this is the DDU software that is one of the best softwares for removing your display drivers and installing new ones. So if you guys want to update your drivers then just go ahead and make sure that you download this software, remove your graphics drivers and then install the new ones. If you guys want a full guide on how to use this then you can just go ahead and read it from here. Or you can join my discord server if you guys need any help. Once that is done, here is the link for the AMD drivers in case you are using an AMD graphics card and want to update those drivers. So just go ahead and select your product, then click on the submit, then you can just go ahead and download your AMD drivers. Then close out of this and for NVIDIA users, double click the NVIDIA driver. Once this page opens up, just go ahead and select your product, hit search and then download your drivers. If you guys want a detailed NVIDIA and AMD guide on how to optimize your graphics card, then I will leave the link to both of my guides down below in the description. The very previous video that I make was on the NVIDIA. So just go ahead and make sure that you guys go ahead and check those out. Then there are all of these NVIDIA settings that you can set up into your, in your control panel. Once again, make sure to check out my NVIDIA guide for that. And then there are the AMD settings in case you are using the AMD graphics card. So once you guys have optimized your graphics card, go back and go into the PC performance folder. For this, we are going to be copying the intelligent standby list cleaner to our desktop then hit paste and we are going to be using it later on so just go into the number one that is the turn off game bar make sure that game bar is turned off and this box is unchecked as well close out of this go into the turn on game mode and make sure that your game mode is turned on then hit close and for the hex on go ahead and open it up scroll all the way down till you can find the graphics settings open it up then click on browse and then go to the drive where you guys have installed Fortnite. For most of the people, it will be C, Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64. And then select this one, the very first application that has the largest file size as well. Hit Add. I have already added it. Then click on it. Click on Options and make sure that High Performance is selected. Hit Save. And now you can close out of this. Then for the Disable Visual Effects, go ahead and open it up. And just make sure that adjust for best performance is tick. And the only two things that you want checked are show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen font. Hit apply and then hit ok. Then open up the processor scheduling programs. Then go into the advanced tab this time and click on the background services. Then go ahead and click on programs once again just to make sure that our processor is allocating resources to our programs and not the background services. Then hit apply. Hit OK and double click on the install power plan. Once this opens up, just go ahead and select the bit some highest performance and now you can close out of this. For the seventh one, we are going to be skipping it because we are going to be applying the ISLC settings manually. So we are going to be skipping this one. For the registry tweak, go ahead and double click on it. Hit yes, hit yes, hit OK and now we have successfully applied the registry tweak. For the MSI mode, that is the last one inside of here, right click on it and make sure that you guys run it as admin. Hit yes. And once this program opens up, highlight your graphics card and make sure that the MSI checkbox is ticked and set the interrupt priority to high. Then hit apply and now you can close out of this. Once again, go back into the pack and this time go into the game performance. Open up the first image and this is just going to basically show you guys to verify your Fortnite from time to time. Just to verify that you guys don't have any corrupt files or data that could be causing FPS drops or stutters. So just go ahead and do that and in the next picture it shows you guys how to enable the exclusive full screen and I'm going to be showing you guys that right now. So in order to enable exclusive full screen just head down to your start menu and search for this PC. 
go ahead and open it up open up c drive program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then scroll down till you can find these four applications with the fortnite logo on them once again we are going to be selecting the one with the highest file size right click on it and click on properties then go into the compatibility tab and make sure that disable full screen optimizations and both run this program as admin are checked then click on change high dpi settings make sure that override high dpi scaling behavior is checked as well and scaling performed by is set to application hit ok hit apply hit ok and now your game should be in exclusive full screen now you can close out of this and you should be able to see a huge difference in your input delay so open up the pack again and this time go back into the last folder that is the game config then go ahead and copy this folder that is the fortnite game click on copy go down to your start menu once again and this time search for percentage local app data percentage go ahead and open it up and then just go ahead and paste this folder inside of here hit replace and this is going to change the graphic settings of your game but you can go ahead and set them back to whatever you want inside of the fortnite then you can go ahead and close out of this so there is only one thing remaining that is the isl siege so just go ahead and open it up run the intelligent standby list cleaner isl c hit yes and once this opens up for the the list size is at least set it to 1024 and for the free memory is lower than make sure that you guys set it to half of the size of your total system memory so just go ahead and divide this number by 2 and roughly set it to around that value and then for the start islc make sure that this is tick and launch islc on user login make sure that this one is checked as well then for the wanted timer resolution make sure that you guys set this value to 0 0.50 and then for the enable custom timer resolution make sure that this is checked as well for the polling rate a lot of people try to set it to 1000 but for medium to low end pcs i highly recommend you guys to just set it to 1000 then click on start and then minimize this software just keep it running in the background while you are playing fortnite otherwise it won't work properly and once you guys have played fortnite just go ahead and open it up from the taskbar click on stop and then you can close out of this so those were all of the optimizations inside of this video and these will help all of you guys fix FPS drops, boost FPS and fix stutters in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. I really hope that this video helps each and every one of you guys and if it did help you then make sure to smash that like button. I really appreciate it and if you guys haven't already then make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the post notification so you don't miss out on any of the brand new optimization guides whenever I upload a new one. Also if you guys are still watching then you guys are true legends because most of the people have already clicked off of the video. If you guys are still watching then make sure to leave a sweet comment down below with hashtag season 5 for a shout out in the next video. Make sure that you guys use code that in the fortnite item shop if you guys want to support me join my discord if you guys need any kind of help we have a really supportive and helping community there and we will be happy to have you there as well also make sure to follow me on twitter if you guys want to stay up to date with basically what i am up to so with that now i will be rolling the shout outs from my previous video but before that keep in mind that you are awesome you are the best at what you do and you always have the potential to improve with that said i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome Thank you.